Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be having a short video and it's going to be about the GCSEs coming soon and us making a revision plan. So not a timetable, but sort of like a timetable, but we're going to be making a weekly revision plan up until the GCSEs. So this is going to be a nine week revision plan where each week I will assign myself certain tasks for me to do. But the thing is, it's going to be quite flexible and not rigid. So that means I'll be able to still keep up with it. So so if I miss something or something like that, um, I can still continue the timetable rather than being stuck and then having to go back and change things. So the way this works, as you can see on the screen currently, uh, we've got a lot of stuff going on right now. So we've got the dates up here. So this is a Google Sheets, by the way. We've got dates up here. This is week one. We are going to have nine weeks of this up until the May 16th, which is when I have my first exam. So the first uh, week is right here. We've got the um, dates here as well as Monday to Sunday. So this is going to start tomorrow. Today is the 13th as you're watching this video. And tomorrow I'm going to be starting with this revision plan, if that makes sense. So we've got the dates up here. And then on the right over here, we've got a list of all my subjects that I'm doing and just every like topic or thing that I could get tested on if that makes sense. So for example for math what I've done here is I've just listed out all the different topics that are on the specification. I have left a few things like adding numbers or something that's like really straightforward but most of it is here. And further maths it's still a bit incomplete. I might be adding more things into it. This is the stuff so far but I'm probably going to add more stuff to it. And then we've got English literature here. This is the only things I do for English literature. English language I've just separated everything by question. French it's just four exams so I'll just separate it like that. And then biology, chemistry, physics, uh, you can see I've made a massive list of them. They're the ones that are taking up the most space. And what I've done basically is I've listed all the topics in terms of what the specification says. And I've made bold what things are definitely coming up in the exam according to the exam board and the advanced information. And then the stuff that isn't bold are things that could come up, but we don't know for sure. If they do come up, they're probably going to be one or two mark questions. They're not going to be too important. So we have biology, chemistry, physics and then we have geography here where I've just listed out the, all the topics that we are doing. Uh, religious studies, I've listed out the four main parts of paper one and then the four main parts of paper two. I might change this up but for now it's going to stay like that. And then DT, I've done a similar thing to the sciences where I've listed out all the topics. Uh, in this case, slightly more summarised and brief and I've basically just bolded all the things that I know are going to come up in the exam according to the advanced information that was set. And now what I can do is, the way this is meant to work is you are meant to plan each week before the week starts, so the Sunday before you're going to plan each week, rather than sitting here right now and doing all nine weeks all at once, you do each week at a time because that way you know what you need to work on and what you are good at. So what we are going to do before we actually start to actually write down what's going on is to just go through all of our topics over here and just see what we're uncomfortable with. So let's look at maths right here. If there's anything here that you don't really find like nice, uh, I will try and link this in the description below. If I don't manage to, I'll try and make it some sort of like way to um, copy and paste this because it's really like time intensive trying to write all of this and yeah so let's for example iterations is something that I just don't like I know it's not too difficult but it's just I whenever I get an iteration question I just feel a bit like oh I don't I don't want to do that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this as red like that and I'm just gonna continue doing that with um, anything here. I could even if I wanted to, if you had the time to make it red, yellow, green for everything but I'm just quickly going along and just seeing what things I just don't like so I don't really like iterations. Um, standard form is okay but like I still feel slightly uneasy with multiplying and dividing them for some reason. It's because I haven't done it in a long time so I'm going to put that at yellow purely because I haven't done it in a long time rather than not being able to do the question so I'll just put it out something like that. It doesn't really matter too much how you're doing this so if I just continue looking forward um, same with functions I don't really feel that comfortable with functions so I might need to put red for that what you can do now is looking at this we've got two columns up here we've got this bright green column here we've got a lighter green column here now what this is, is so what you can do is you can actually alter this to like if I wanted to I can just control C this 
I put another line of just light green and what this means is the dark green is stuff that I'm definitely going to do on that day. Out of all these topics that I've put, which one do I least like? I would say probably, let's go for bearings, I hate bearings, let's put bearings there. So we're going to put bearings practice and what I would be trying to do is in that bearings practice, let me just try and make that like this and um, what I'm gonna try and do in this bearings practice is make sure I continue doing it so the next time I go over bearings I feel green about that that's like perfectly fine no more red for me and what I can also put over here is a different thing that I might want to do as well as like a bonus like I should do this but if I don't manage to do it I'm not gonna beat myself up about it it's not bad it's mainly the ones at the top that I definitely want to do so imagine I was just focusing maths on this week but I like personally to do a bit of everything let's, so let's like move on a bit to let's just go straight to English language for example and I'm just going to look at all of these and I'm going to instantly put paper on question three as a red even worse than red it's just horrible so what I can do is I can like bring this along on Tuesday what I'm going to do I'm going to probably then do a paper one question three practice for English language and I'm just going to attempt one and then just send it to my teacher to mark uh, that's all I'm going to do as my must have the thing is I'm probably going to struggle with that so I'm going to try my hardest to do that um, I can also like on Wednesday for example let's just continue looking along so it's all based on what do you think you need the most practice with I'm just looking at all of this try and in my opinion what I'd like to try and do is include a bit of every subject in each week but I know friends who just do one subject for a few days and move on to another subject for a few days and move on like they just fully rinse out a subject before they move on I personally like to just mix everything up and just continuously like switch between them because I just get bored if I'm doing the same thing over and over again the same subject so um, also if you feel like the reason I've put only one green column here uh, is because it's probably going to be really difficult to actually start revising um, from the very beginning so I've made it really simple and straightforward just one of these in week two I currently have nothing here so what I can do is I can bring this along when I am going for week two I can copy and paste this in here um, removing anything that I like all of this stuff in and changing up the dates of course so I can have two light green columns or two dark green columns or I could just completely remove this over here and just have all of that so oh wait this is still here but you can kind of see what I'm trying to do I'm going to be trying to build this up like every week so I can then get better at better at everything of course if you feel that you don't want to arise for every day of the week you can have breaks you can for example say Friday you're just going to do nothing at all if you want so you can just put that as like grey for example and just say no you're not going to do anything on Friday it's your choice how you want to do this it's supposed to be nice and flexible so it's easier to do and then we also have weekly tasks over here which is just simply where you just write something you want to get done over the course of the week you don't know how long it will take but you just want to get it done so this for, for example what I would like to do in this situation is talk about like flashcards so uh, get 100 flashcards done in total like that and now I can just uh, I might have to expand that out a bit like that um, but the point is you can kind of see uh, I'm just going to be building this up over time and that's how it works if you have any questions about this make sure you email me and um, what I'm going to probably also do is copy and paste this over all my weeks so I'll just paste this in oh yikes what just happened let me just paste it over here so now I have it again right here and what I can then do is I can reset all the colours and then by week two which is going to be in a week's time I can then relook at everything and be like okay so now what do I find tricky and what do I need to improve. Yeah I hope you enjoyed, uh, make sure you try this out or do some sort of plan for your revision because it's going to be really important especially now that GCSEs are getting really close and good luck with your exams and your revision and I'll see you again next time, bye.